When you receive your Elite Plus electrolyte analyzer, you will begin by removing the instrument from the packaging. Cut and remove the tape from the top of the box. Remove the accessories kit followed by the instrument. Place the instrument on the table, remove the styrofoam, and unwrap the plastic cover. Attach any of the magnetic pieces if they are not already in place. Next you can begin to remove the accessories from the box. Make sure you have each of the following parts. An AC adapter, power cord, printer paper, O-rings, pump tubing, and a blockage removal needle. Depending on the model you purchased, you will receive the corresponding electrodes plus a reference electrode. You will also receive refill solution for the ISE electrodes, refill solution for the reference electrode, washing solution for activation, washing solution for cleaning, washing solution for deprotonization, and linearity control for calibrating the instrument. Once you have verified that you have all the necessary accessories and consumables, you can begin to fill and install the electrodes. Each electrode package will come with installation instructions. Remove the ISC electrode from the pouch. Unscrew the cap of the electrode by hand, open the ISC refill solution, and pipette 200 microliters of solution into the electrode. Make sure when inserting the pipette into the electrode, avoid touching the pipette tip to the bottom as it could damage the electrode. The fill line should be about halfway between the letters. Replace the cap of the electrode by hand, do not use any tools. After you have replaced the cap, hold the electrode from the top and flick the bottom to remove any air bubbles. Make sure that when you fill the electrodes, you use the correct solution. ISC refill solution for the ISC electrodes and reference refill solution for the reference electrode. Also use a different pipette if you switch between the two types of solutions. When you remove the reference electrode from its packaging, you will notice that it comes with two caps. One with a small hole in it, that is for use, and the other cap that comes attached to the electrode is for storage. The reference electrode will take 5,000 microliters of solution, which should fill half of the electrode chamber. Replace the cap with the small hole on the electrode, making sure to do it by hand. Again, you will hold the top of the electrode and flick it to remove any air bubbles. After all the electrodes are filled, install them into the electrode measuring chamber, beginning on the left and working to the right. Insert each electrode into the corresponding spot. The reference electrode will be installed last. Once the electrodes are in place, make sure that they are flush with each other. Close the chamber lid and rotate the knob on the side of the chamber by hand to the right to secure the electrodes. Secure the pump tubing and peristaltic pump by unclipping the pump lock and stretching the tubing around the pump and then relock the clip. The reagent pack can be installed in the slot on the side of the analyzer. Remove the pack from the box and remove the rubber piece on the back. Slide it into place, pushing gently to secure it. Once the electrodes in the pack are installed, you can connect the analyzer to the AC power adapter and connect it to a grounded power outlet. The back of the analyzer has the following connections. Power on and off switch, connection for grounding, the AC adapter connection, and the RS-232 for data transmission. Once the analyzer is plugged in, flip the power switch to turn it on. It will check for and detect the pack. When the analyzer reads the pack, the first message to show up will ask you to activate the electrodes. Before you activate the electrodes, you will need to prime the pack, so select No on the screen. When the analyzer prompts you to calibrate, hit Cancel. This will bring you to the main menu. Select Maintenance, then Replace Pack to prime it, then select OK.
After the pack is primed, go back to the main menu to begin adjusting the main settings, starting with the date and time. Click Settings, then Date and Time, press Start, and enter the correct date, then time, press Yes, then Return. Back on the System Settings screen, the Parameters option will show the selected parameters for the model analyzer you are using. You can use this menu to select the parameters you wish to test. All available electrodes are selected by default. The Print Setup turns on and off real-time prints. The rest of the options on the screen are default settings and should not be changed. The normal range settings should be adjusted by your lab once you have established your ranges. These ranges will print out on sample reports once you begin running samples. The test speed setting is how fast the analyzer calculates the result. This doesn't affect the amount of reagent used, but the speed it takes to calculate results. For best results in reproducibility, we recommend it is set at normal. On the calibration frequency screen, you can adjust the one point and two point calibration. These calibrations are performed during the sample testing. The recommended settings for these calibrations is every 10 samples for one point calibration and every 20 samples for a two point calibration. If you adjust these settings, save your settings by selecting OK and return to the main menu. Before running QC samples and patient samples, you will need to perform deprotonization. Deprotonizing is used to help keep the tubing of the analyzer clean and free of debris. Every analyzer will come with a deprotonizer kit. Inside the kit are 10 total vials. The dark vials contain an enzyme and the clear vials contain diluent. To prepare the solution, add the diluent to the enzyme, mix well until the powder is completely dissolved. Let stand for 5 minutes before use. After 5 minutes, begin the deprotonization process by selecting Maintenance from the main menu, followed by Deprotonize. The analyzer will ask you to insert the solution into the probe. When you insert the solution, do not push it all the way to the bottom of the vial. If you put the probe too close to the bottom, the probe will not be able to aspirate enough solution. Once it aspirates, the analyzer will tell you to remove the solution and it will run the process. Following the deprotonization, in the maintenance menu, you will select Activate to begin the activation process. The analyzer will ask you to insert the activation solution into the probe and then hit OK. Initial activation is set to 30 minutes, but it can take up to a few hours. Once deprotonization and activation are complete, return to the main menu where you will run ISC calibration. The instrument can obtain and store the electrode's slope data by running ISC calibration. It can also evaluate the electrode stability by comparing the electrode MV values during calibration. Select the ISC calibration from the main menu and then the analyzer will ask if you want to calibrate now. Select OK. When running the calibration, the analyzer automatically aspirates calibrant A and B from the reagent pack. The calibration will pass if the values are within their effective value ranges. After the ISC calibration is complete, you can begin quality control. Quality control can be accessed from the main menu and then QC. For international customers, verify that the factors are already entered by selecting Factor on the AC Analysis screen. For customers that do not already have factors programmed into their analyzer, a QC calibration will need to be run. For international customers, the QC calibration will be run anytime you notice a drift in your results, even if only one parameter is off. To do QC calibration, you will need linearity control material. The linearity control material includes levels 1, 2, and 3, but you will only need levels 1 and 3 for the QC calibration. To prep the solutions, shake the bottle, flick the top, and snap the top off. You will set the targets for QC calibration, which can be found on the insert sheet of the product. For each level of QC, find the analyzer and the level that you will be testing, enter the target and the range, hit start, and begin the calibration. The instructions on the screen will tell you to insert QC Level 3. 
Slide the bottle onto the probe, press OK, then remove it. The analyzer will test the sample and calculate the factor for the high control. The analyzer will prompt to enter the second QC level, level 1. It is best to wipe the probe with a lint-free cloth in between samples. After level 1 is aspirated, the analyzer calculates the factor, and you can review the factors to make sure they look accurate. If they look off, you can hit cancel and rerun calibration. If the factors are accurate, hit OK. You will return to the QC analysis screen and begin running QC. You will begin testing by level. Select the test, QC level 1, 2, or 3. You will enter the high and low target for the range for each level. You can get this information from the insert sheet. The first thing you will do is enter the lot number, followed by the high and low target for each electrode, and then hit start test. When prompted, add the QC solution to the probe. Make sure you are using the solution for the specific level you selected to test. Press OK. The analyzer will display the results on the screen as well as print the result through the internal printer. You can review on the printout whether the level passed. You will complete the same steps for QC test level 1, 2, and 3. To begin running samples, you will select the sample screen from the main menu. The sample process is very similar to the QC process. Once the analyzer is ready, you can enter the sample ID, a unique ID, or leave it at 1, but note it will label the samples consecutively based on the number you enter. The analyzer will ask that you insert the sample onto the probe, press OK, and remove the sample when prompted. The analyzer will process the sample and will show you the results on the screen as well as print them out. Repeat the process of sampling when ready. If at any time you are interested in reviewing QC or sample data, you can access this information by selecting Other from the main menu followed by Review Data. These instructions can also be found in the operator's manual. Please contact us with any questions. Thank you.